Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves you. A God who walks beside you. A God who wants to be in relationship with you. He loves you that much. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? You know, as I read these words today, I'm reminded that, that God is God. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes in our humanness, uh, we see God in light of other human beings. Um, oftentimes we call God Father or Abba um, and w with the idea that He is our Father, but not in an earthly way. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes um, the presence of God is, is almost looked at as from the perspective of as our regular dads. But you know what? I'm a dad, and I fail at times. In fact, I failed my kid lots of times. Uh, not because I wanted to. Uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to do my best. But because I sometimes do. Um, you know, but God is not human. God does not fail. Uh, God does not make a promise he does not keep. Um, you know, God knows everything and he knows all. Um, so when we look at the eye, we think about God, his promises are forever. When God says he's prepared a place for us uh, in John chapter 6, those who, uh, John chapter 14, uh, verse 6, uh, those who chosen Jesus Christ, he means it and it's done. Uh, there, there's no doubt that he has a place in heaven for those who would receive Jesus as their savior. Um, when, when, when God says that he will walk beside us, it's done. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't forget. Again, as human beings, um, you know, I think there's times, even though uh, we want to be men and women of integrity, we, we want to keep our promises, there's times where we just simply forget uh, or, um, you know, something comes up. And, 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 and again, we don't necessarily do these things on purpose. It's just at times we fail. But God doesn't fail. Um, we can be assured that the God of heaven and earth doesn't forget, uh, doesn't decide not to, doesn't change his mind. God is God, and therefore, God keeps his promises. And when we talk about God being holy, when we talk about God being righteous, when we talk about God being gracious and merciful, all those remind us that God is all of these things, that God is uh, forever, that God's promises are true. God doesn't change. I don't know how to, to say that anymore for you today. I know for me, it just occurred to me a reminder that, that you know, God is not earthly. God is not uh, humanly. God is God, and he's above all that we can under, understand. God is greater than our minds can ever understand, and that deserves praise. I praise God today because of his greatness. Um, it's almost unimaginable for me to even try to contemplate how big God is, and yet he loves me. One single a human being in all of creation and God knows me by name and according to the scriptures knows the number of hairs on my head um, that's how much God loves me and that's how much God loves you so it doesn't matter where you're at today doesn't matter what you've done today doesn't matter none of that matters God loves you because he created you and because of who you are all the stuff that you've done can be forgiven all the stuff that you're caught up in now can be forgiven in fact God can lift you out of it God doesn't say hey go fix yourself God says, come to me, and I will give you rest. Come to me, and I will transform your life to be like Jesus. Um, uh, you know, and Jesus is uh, God in human form. So that's what we strive to be like. I don't know about you, but I want a life that's full of blessing and full of hope and full of joy and full of peace. And that's what God is offering. He's promised it to us if we say, simply take him up upon it. The question for you today is, will you take him up upon it? I don't know what you have going on today, but I know that God wants to bless you and be with you. It may be a tough day for you. There may be hard things going on in your life, and I don't want to discount that by any means. I'm not saying that, that we, we shouldn't focus on what's important. Uh, but we can focus on it from the perspective that God will walk beside us. That's how much he loves you. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for loving us so much that even in the midst of our turmoil, even in the midst of where we place ourselves, you will come down and, and take us out if we simply ask you. We thank you, O God, that as we know you, that you walk beside us, that you carry us through the tough times, that you help us uh, each step of the way. Father, you don't promise that as your children that we won't face hardships, that we won't face times of uh, growth, um, times of, of being fixed, you know, those, those things, Father, but you promise that you'll be there each step of the way. Father, we can't ask for any more just than to, to be hand in hand with you. So, Father, lead us and guide us each step of the way today. For those who might have tough days ahead of them, Father, may they sense your presence even more. 
but for all of us. May we bask in your glory and in your love and in your hope and in your peace. Father, please bless those who need a special blessing today, uh, those who are hurting today uh, with loss of loved ones, those who are facing tough physical issues today or tough mental issues or tough uh, emotional issues. Father, be with those who are struggling spiritually today. Uh, just bless them as well. Father, please be with the war that's going on with Russia and Ukraine. We pray for the, uh, all the people there, but especially for those who are brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, would you protect them? And, and Father, may you bring peace. Father, thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. God loves you today. Uh, we love you as well. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.